Lincoln Model L100. In August 2022, Lincoln unveiled a new concept for the electric and fully autonomous car, Model L100. The name was chosen to celebrate Lincoln's 100th anniversary. This concept was inspired by the 1922 Lincoln Model L, which was super modern for its time. Although, of course, it's hard to imagine these two models have anything in common. And now, 100 years later, the company has presented its vision of the future. Lincoln sees the future as an elegant time. And the concept is indeed elegant and quite expensive. With coach doors and a roof that opens up, the Model L100 turns a simple act of getting into a car into an actual ceremony. The battery and powertrain will probably shrink to leave an overwhelming amount of cabin space for passengers. Instead of cluttering the spacious interior with multiple passenger rows, Lincoln installed the rear sofa bench as the only fixed seating. The front bench is convertible. Judging by the photos, the seat back can also be completely removed to leave the front bench as a footrest. Citroen 1919 Concept Another company that released a new unusual concept car to celebrate its 100th anniversary is Citroen. Their 1919 concept looks like they were going for something that doesn't look much like a car. The body, which is more like a helicopter cabin, is connected to four wheels through proprietary adaptive shock absorbers. And it's not just wheels. These are huge 30-inch rims, each wrapped in aerodynamic mudguards. The suspension system reads the road ahead with a series of sensors that allow the car to be fully prepared for what's coming. It seems like the entire body is made of glass, or at least something that looks like glass. Moreover, there are so many transparent materials in the concept car that from the inside, you can look down and see the road flashing by beneath you. Even the seats here don't look like regular car seats, but something that would fit in someone's living room. Naturally, this is a modern concept car, which means it's powered by two electric motors. The battery should be enough for a 497-mile range. If necessary, 1919 can turn on the autonomous driving mode and drive without human assistance. By the way, the car's similarity to a helicopter is not accidental. In the 1970s, Citroen actually designed a helicopter, although few people know about it. However, it was this helicopter in the track record of Citroen that helped the company come up with the design of 1919. That's why it's mostly made of glass, including the area which typically accommodates the radiator grills and bumper. SSR9 Concept The unusual SSR9 motorcycle concept was developed by Japanese designer Yutaka Igarashi from the ID Performance Studio. So far, this concept can hardly turn into a real motorcycle, but 4D Toys Company has successfully used the design to 3D print it as a toy. In some ways, SSR9 resembles a living organism. In any case, the white elements on the wheels look like snake vertebrae. Lazzarini Hover Coupe What happens when you blend retro style and future technologies? Italian designer Pierpaolo Lazzarini found the answer to this question and created something weird. The design of this vehicle is supposedly inspired by the iconic Italian car brand Isotto Frascini. To be more precise, the prototype pays homage to the legendary Tipo 8 car of the early 20th century, encapsulating the luxury feel of that time. True, the concept car doesn't have the usual wheels and the classic cars retrofitted into a flying one. The car is equipped with a four-turbo engine similar to those used in commercial aircraft, but with a smaller diameter. Will the hover coupe fly? Hardly. But the concept still looks very impressive. While if the car could actually fly, it'd fit perfectly into the Star Wars universe and maybe even redeem the Attack of the Clones movie. BMW Definition CE04 BMW's electric future scooter looks angular and modular, but the company worked really hard to create a smart vehicle for getting around the city. The battery pack with a range of about 75 miles sits low and flat, and the motor and belt drive system are quite compact. That's why the designers created a long, flat, one-size-fits-all seat, an odd-looking storage box under the seat, a vast wheelbase, and a front fairing. Well, why not? On one hand, the scooter with the dimensions of a motorcycle looks very angular, and on the other hand, it has an aerodynamic shape. To make the design even more quirky, the designers also added wheels that look like Batmobile wheels. It takes about two hours to charge this vehicle, and its top speed is 75 miles per hour. Citroen Skate Developers from Citroen have found a new solution that can reduce the congestion in cities 
and make their spaces more comfortable for people. Actually, they have several solutions since the Citroen Skate is a universal platform which can carry different types of passenger modules, like the Sofitel and Voyage Pod, designed to travel across the city with maximum comfort and luxury service. The pod represents French elegance and lifestyle. It doesn't matter where a person decides to go, to the best restaurants, boutiques, or to catch a train or a plane, to explore the city, or just to their job, Sofitel and Voyage will ensure perfect travel conditions. Pullman Power Fitness 5 is an amazing glass pod that offers a unique experience, a symbiosis of sports, music, and light. A digital coach on a holographic screen will let you enjoy the world around you and have fun during your cardio workout. It'll also help you get information about the trip. Yes, that's exactly what you think it is, a gym inside a transport pod. Exercising within the pod would also charge its batteries. And finally, JC Deco City Provider is a pod that's supposed to replace conventional public transport. Up to five people can travel in this pod enjoying a beautiful view of the city. Passengers will also be able to use handrails for better safety and USB ports to charge their mobile devices. In addition, the pod has two screens with interactive maps, one facing outward and the other inward. Biomega Sen In 2018, Danish e-bike manufacturer Biomega introduced its first four-wheeled electric vehicle, the Sen Crossover Utility Vehicle. It's designed to accommodate four people and has a top speed of 80 miles per hour. Sen was named after the city that inspired some of the design elements, that is, Singapore. The weight of the car is only 2,094 pounds thanks to a body made of lightweight composites including carbon fiber and aluminum crossbeams. At the front, where conventional cars have a grille, Sen has see-through glass. The transparent driver and passenger doors ensure an optimal view of the road. Most Sen battery modules with a capacity of 20 kilowatt hours are located in the floor of the car, but the 6 kilowatt hours worth of battery units to the rear can be removed and replaced on the go if needed. One charge provides a range of 100 miles. Actually, when you look at Sen, it becomes clear why Singapore was the city that inspired the car. Such a futuristic vehicle will fit right in on the streets of Singapore. But if you think about it, Sen also resembles a wooden toy car from Ikea. No, really, they're very similar. Well, except the Ikea car has no glass elements. Volvo 360C In 2018, Volvo introduced its concept of an autonomous car. The 360C is advertised as a car designed to travel long distances. It's supposed to take over air travel and at the same time save people from all the hustle they usually cause. No check-ins, no lines, no flight delays, no security checks. The fully electric and fully autonomous 360C by Volvo is designed to make getting from point A to point B as comfortable as possible. In this vehicle, you can relax, work while driving thanks to internet access, and even sleep if the trip takes place at night a very convenient option for those who travel to another city for a morning meeting. Unfortunately, the company didn't disclose the specs of the car. We only know it's electric and fully autonomous, with no hardware for human driving. But on the other hand, the developers released early sketches which served as a basis for the concept vehicle. And they show some interesting details, including, for example, a coffee machine. Yup, it's built right into the car. Compared to this, a smart cup holder doesn't seem like a cool innovation anymore. VW Group V. Mo. The Chinese division of the German automotive concern Volkswagen Group introduced its first vehicle with vertical takeoff and landing technology. It's called V. Mo. Actually, this is, of course, an aircraft, an electric passenger drone. The final iteration of the V. Mo would supposedly be able to carry four passengers and luggage for a distance of up to 124 miles. With an X-Wing configuration of 37 feet in length and a span width of 35 feet, the model features eight rotors for vertical lift and two propellers for horizontal flight. Of course, this vehicle will achieve greater flexibility where cars and scooters can no longer be effective due to traffic congestion. V. Mo is likely to become a premium air taxi. Air Yacht V2 this is a totally crazy air yacht concept that's unlike anything you've ever seen. The yacht was designed by Lazzarini Design Studio, already mentioned in the video, and it looks like it came straight from a sci-fi movie. The yacht will supposedly be made of carbon fiber and will consist of two massive 554-foot-long blimps powered by helium. That is essentially, it's a modern blimp. Or more like two blimps with solar panels and electric motors rotating in opposite directions, producing 950 horsepower each. 
The Air Yacht V2 is designed to fly for 48 hours before it needs to land. Of course, one can't expect it to be fast. The Air Yacht V2 will only be able to reach a top speed of 100 knots, which is roughly 115 miles per hour. By the way, if this aircraft looks strangely familiar to you, then perhaps you just watched Futurama. This series had a similar looking spaceship. Neuro Early in 2018, Neuro was launched, a company which developed a unique, fully autonomous delivery vehicle. The company was founded by two former chief engineers of Alphabet's self-driving car subsidiary. Their new self-driving car is half the size of a standard car and is designed to move silently around neighborhoods delivering orders to customers. Neuro is expected to feature modular inserts to customize storage as well as temperature-controlled compartments that can keep goods warm or cool on the go. In addition, they plan to equip Neuro with an airbag in case of unforeseen collision with people on the road and as well as with a set of cameras, radars, and thermal sensors. Campagna T-Rex A three-wheeler called T-Rex. You gotta admit, anyone will be excited by this concept. The prototype of this electric T-Rex is powered by two air-cooled electric motors producing 140 horsepower and 314 newton meters of torque. T-Rex can cover 185 miles around the city on a single charge. Charging a twin battery pack can take from 2 to 9 hours depending on the type of charger you use. The weight of the three-wheeled car is only 1,320 pounds, though the T-Rex sprints from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds. Its maximum speed is 112 miles per hour. Unfortunately, we don't have more detailed specs of T-Rex. The vehicle is still at the prototyping stage, so details have not been unveiled yet. 